Welcome. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to start talking about the analysis of categorical data. Today we will be looking at just one categorical variable and we'll be talking about descriptive statistics for that one categorical variable. So before we even look at how to do those numeric summaries or do those descriptive statistics, I want to remind you of what a categorical variable is. So let's start with a variable. Remember that a variable is going to be the piece of information that you want. So when you are collecting data, every little piece of information goes into a column and those columns are called variables. So a categorical variable we've talked about is going to put you into a group or category name, hence categorical variable. So today we'll be talking about how to analyze data for categorical variables. Now, categorical data like we've been looking at, it has here that data set we were uh, discussing in past videos. It has country and region. So those are categories that you can put these um, units into. So different countries would go into different cate categories or different regions. So when we talk about um, categorical data, and we talk about descriptive statistics. With descriptive statistics, you can have either numeric summaries or you can have graphical displays. So today we're specifically going to be talking about numeric summaries for one categorical variable. Now, because categorical data isn't a number, you're going to have a very simple set of numeric summaries for categorical data. We have frequency, relative frequency, and then percent. So starting out with frequency, Frequency has a lot of synonyms to it. It's going to be the count of individuals in a group, or you can think of it as the number of individuals in a group. So frequency is how frequently do you see that? Now, the thing to remember, because you are counting, you have to have these represented as whole numbers. So if you're counting how many countries are in different regions, you would never have a half of a country in one region and half of a country in another. Those are going to be whole numbers and it's going to be the count or the frequency of how often you see individuals in each region. So these are synonyms, count and number for frequency and that's our first numeric summary that we have for categorical data. Now on the next page we're going to talk about relative frequencies which is going to use this measurement frequency to calculate its value for relative frequency. So relative frequency, it uses frequency that we just talked about on the last page. So it's going to use that count and it's going to be relative to the total. So relative, what does that mean? Well, it takes the frequency and it's going to make it relative or divided by the total for the sample. So this is how you calculate a relative frequency. So it's the count or number relative to the total. So that's how it gets its name. Now, if you can intuit, this then is going to mean that it has to be not a whole number, right? It's going to be either a fraction or it's going to be a decimal value that has to be between 0 and 1. So a relative frequency, because it's going to be a division, because you have a fraction here, it won't be a whole number. Instead, it's going to be a decimal value or a fraction that has to be between 0 and 1. Now, the next thing we have is going to use relative frequency again. So we started with frequency, how many individuals are in each group. And then we use that frequency and we divide it by the total to get us to our relative frequency. And next we have percent. And essentially what the percent does is it takes the relative frequency and it multiplies it by 100 to get you to that percent. So just like before I said, the frequency has to be a whole number. And then relative frequency, because it's going to be a division or a fraction, has to be between 0 and 1. And a percentage then would have to be between 0 and 100%. So those are the rules for that. Kind of helps you to have some um, parameters to guide yourself by. 
Those are the numeric summaries that you have for categorical data, and those are the only numeric summaries that we can do. So for our descriptive statistics, our numeric summaries, we have frequency, relative frequency, and percent. And in future videos, I will show you how that is calculated, and we'll look at how it's calculated within a statistical package. Um, for the next one, we'll be using R. So I'll see you in future videos to look more at frequency, relative frequency, and percent.